If challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. Hello and welcome back. As you may have noticed, I got myself a new jacket. I did a few, uh, did a few assassination missions in order to get my cash up. I got a new shirt. I think it works pretty well with, uh, I think it works pretty well with the jacket in conjunction with it. It's just a little baseball shirt that says Tigers. And now we are going to take on Mr. Seven. Who I kind of, who I really like. And he, yeah, I'll just go ahead and spoil it. It's a guy. And this gentleman is voiced by one Mr. Uh, Josh Keaton, who is the voice of young Ocelot from Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, I believe... What else is Keaton voiced in? Oh, I, th I think I might have said this before. Hmm. Uh, I know he's voiced in a bunch of in some other stuff, but I'm honestly drawn a blank besides Ocelot. Oh well, I might think of some. Anyway, so let's go ahead and make our payment at the ATM. Two hundred and fifty thousand LB dollars. LB fun bucks. So let's go ahead and go, and go, uh, hear what Sylvia has to say. Something degrading, I'm sure. I like the skeletal tiger jacket. It's not my favorite one, but it, it's pretty cool. And we needed a little bit of a change in the red hot jacket. Even though it's called red hot. Yeah, whatever. You can change your belt, your pants, and your, uh, sunglasses, but... What the hell's going on over there? Jeez, don't leave me hanging, honey. Well, Sylvia's in danger. Better play with my cat. Yeah, No More Heroes 2. Oh, she's all pissed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Jean's so cute. Oh shit. Number seven is a crazy motherfucker. I like that little theme. Da -da 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 -da. It's so jovial and happy, despite the fact that we're going murder somebody. Burger suplex. You know how, like, uh, certain restaurants have little gimmicks, like Johnny Rockets, they'll, uh, sing you songs, like, they'll sing you songs like an old-timey, uh, like an old-timey soda shop. I'm wondering if Burger Suplex, literally the chef just suplexes your, your face into a fucking burger. It might get really messy, or, may or maybe he just suplexes the meat and shows you. Oh shit. I mean, that make for a really filthy burger, but, you know... You wouldn't go there for the food. You'd go there for the for the atmosphere and for the entertainment. Or maybe it's just like they're con or all the uh, waiters and waitresses are dressed like luchadors. That'd be cool. And to celebrate birthdays, they just suplex you about, like, how old are you today, little Timmy? Seven. Okay, seven suplexes for Timmy. Boom. <laughs> Come and get some. <laughs> Fucking destroy, man. There was a. Uh... Oh, we got card number 16. There was, uh, in uh, Killer 7, there was a superhero group called the Handsome Men. But I don't think. 
and they were kind of a, they were kind of a really bloody and gory uh, parody of Power Rangers or Super Sentai. But I don't think they really worked on the level of Destroy Man here, who's more of a parody of American-based superheroes. Considering that the Sentai, that uh, the handsome men shot lasers out of their eyes. Yes. And then they just copied uh, the Killer 7's weapons down to a T. I'm wondering if there's any more cards down the way. I'm pretty sure you fight in a... I'm pretty sure you fight in the subway. If not in this game, which I'm pretty sure you do. If not in this game, then definitely in the sequel. Or maybe I'm forget, or maybe I'm just uh, forgetting something. Again, it's been a very long time, a since I've done this for an LP, and b since I've actually played this myself. And I'm and I'm pretty sure I'm I'm still hopeful for No More Heroes three. Like there was talk about it coming on the Wii U, and I think that'd be really cool. But Suda fifty one uh, Goichi Suda said that Travis's story was over. Which is sad, because I like Travis. Travis is awesome. He's such a lovable asshole. He's so cool. And he's, oh, no, we fought on the train. Yeah, yeah, and if I remember correctly, one of the assassination missions puts you on a train, and it's really good for grinding. So maybe these whole uh, grinding for cash will go a lot quicker. Ugh. Break your back and make you humble. I fuck your ass with 10-inch cock. Oh, Iron Sheik. I remember that, uh... I remember... I remember actually getting a, a Playboy magazine. Uh, a friend... A friend of mine got me a magazine. Kind of got it for me. Got it for me kind of as a goof. But I remember, like... On the inside... Because, oh no, it's a picture of, of... It's dirty pictures of girls. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, it's dirty pictures of girls, but uh... But I actually got kind of legitimately hyped up because one of the things that they had on the front cover of it was an interview with Iron Sheik. So I was like, oh man, Iron Sheik! Hell yeah! Now I'm definitely interested in reading this Playboy. <laughs> Not for the naked girls, but for the fact that Iron Sheik would be talking about wrestling. Iron Sheik, it looks like you're getting an erection whenever you put uh, Hulk Hogan in a Cobra Clutch right here. What? <laughs> what? Uh, the greatest heel of our, of our time. Here's my ass. Now I'm gonna make you humble. Oh! Oh! Oh, Travis, no! No! Travis, why would you do that? That's not cool. He just pushes the guy down, holds him down, and stabs his dick with a beam katana. You don't do that. That's not cool, man. I don't care if you're an assassin, you gotta have some dignity. You don't shoot a guy in the dick, you definitely don't lay you don't definitely don't stricken stab him in the dick with a lightsaber. Fuck. This game is dark. Jesus, Travis. The game's gone quiet just because of what happened. Jeez. Are there any cards down here to restore my innocence? Oh. Travis, you are a messed up individual. I was with you with the wrestling and laser swords and stuff, but jeez, man. You stab a man in the dick. That's beyond not cool. Ugh. Anyway, to kind of get off track of that, uh, like I said in the last video, I am probably going to be doing another game, maybe alongside of this, after I've made a significant amount of progress in No More Heroes. But I expect that to be coming up relatively soon. Oh, there's another card. Could have missed that one. Expect it to be coming up relatively soon. And it shouldn't be that long. I think I beat it blind in about, let's say, five hours. 
So it shouldn't be that long of a playthrough. It should be pretty quick. And it's a pretty fun game. It's actually, uh, it's an old PS2 classic that you can get up on the, uh, uh, PlayStation Network. I'm sorry, I was trying to slow beef thing. If you're not familiar, Slow Beef, uh, the guy who kind of created Let's Play, his whole gimmick is whenever he's spacing for words, I guess, as kind of a way to th think of what else to say, he kind of just does this little clicking noise. Which, I mean, that's cool. That's unique. That's his thing. And now we just fight these guys who have fucking bags on their heads. And who got... Frickin' Chinese dragon swords. They're not katanas, they're those big old uh they're those big old swords that Young Sung used in Soul Calibur. Aw oh, man, I miss Young Sung. Like in Soul Calibur 5 with Ezio Auditore da Firenze, they they never get like Young Sung wasn't wasn't a returning character, and I liked his play his playstyle. He was fast and he did a lot of kicks. You know, he was a cool guy. And he was a rival of the... Uh, of frickin' uh, Mitsurugi. Sort of. Even though that was more of Taki's thing. A lot of characters were missing from uh, Soul Calibur V that I severely missed. But don't worry, we got Yuri Lowenthal and his shy sister who's a monster girl. I didn't really like. I didn't really care for Nightmare's design in that game. Siegfried was cool. I mean, I mained Siegfried in those games. I don't know why I'm talking about Soul Calibur right now. Speaking of what, speaking of fighting games, I it is taking a little bit of time for us to get back on track with fighting with my dad. But it is the summer, so maybe I might have some time to uh, get him, get my dad in on a video or two. I do believe I said that the next game we will play will be a 3D fighter. So that's still on track. I have more than enough games to that we can play around with. So you might want to expect that in the future. We'll try getting a few done. I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to think back on what else Josh Keaton has voiced in. I could look it up right now, but it might pick up on the mic. Oh, card number twenty. Let's see. Trying to think to myself. Ah, whatever. We got more guys with bags on their head. See, it's the assholes with the guns who piss me off. Cause they always break your combo and they always somehow and they always hit you regardless of where the fuck you are. Oh, right. So off screen I also did more of a Thunder Reuse training. And like I said before, that gets you more Come back here, you fuck. Come here, you shit. Hate. Ugh. I hate these guys so much. Alright, that's enough. Are we gonna... That's enough grab-ass, people. There we go. Just... You have to really shake the, the Wiimote really hard to get that extra lightning in your katana. Because that way you make them feel how fucking pissed you are at them. And now I'm gonna shoot late. Oh, you like shooting me? Okay. Ugh. Fuck you. <laughs> He's not the most eloquent speaker at times, Travis Touchdown. <laughs> just, just... Come on! Come here, you shit. Oh, you. Oh, you fuck. I'm gonna wrestle you so hard. Ugh. You deserve a stab in the dick. I don't, and I would never wish that on my worst enemy, but you, you are more than an annoyance. Seriously, the, the assholes with the guns are the worst. Uh, the reason why, again, why I picked this game instead of the uh, PS3 port, the PS3 port looks a lot nicer, obviously. I'm kind of sad that they didn't do a PS3 port of uh, Desperate Struggle, because that kind of would have introduced some cool concepts. Maybe they could have introduced a new protagonist, because I think they're going to go with a new character to play as in No More Heroes 3, if that ever is a thing. 
But then again, uh, the newest Suda51 game went from Lily Bergamo, which looked really cool, to kind of a generic a Borderlands-esque uh, mass murder game. Which I I'm honestly spacing on. I forgot what it's called. I like Killer is Dead. Killer is Dead was fun. That had Travis Willingham as the voice. Or, no way. Uh, no, it was Patrick Sates. Patrick Sates was the one who voiced, uh, who voiced the main character, Mondo. Patrick and, uh, and Travis are kind of... Travis Willingham, not Travis Touchdown. I'm low on health. Is there any more pizza around here? They kind of sound a bit similar. Patrick States is the guy who voices current Gen, who voices current uh, Scorpion, and Travis Willingham is the guy who voices in a lot of Atlas projects, like in Catherine. And these guys with bean katanas are really annoying because they're. Oh, I'm just not doing so hot lately. I'm gonna say it's probably because I'm on mild. Even though this is nor. Fuck. Fucking gang up on you. Come on, you shit. Hold still, you asshole. How can he still move when he's being currently hit? That's weird. Oh no, I'm really... I'm really fucking the dog on this. Yeah, now I get the fucking dark side mode. Right when everybody's dead. Maybe there are people upstairs. Travis! Travis! No! Travis, no! He doesn't want to listen to me. He just goes in a line no matter which way I fucking point him. Oh, come on. This is going to be a fucking waste of a dark side. Oh, that is horseshit. And I could have used that. Travis wanted to fucking walk in a straight line regardless of what direction I pointed the nunchuck in. So that was kind of a waste of a dark side. Whatever. If I can fight him one on one, it's fine. Seriously, what is with all these assholes wearing bags on their heads? You think that makes you look cool? No, it doesn't. Oh, cool, I got another dark side. Yeah. Oh, he took it. How many of these hits does he take? More than... Wow, four of those, huh? These are some durable dudes. If you get a beam katana, then you're automatically kind of just... You're kind of just set. Did I kill everybody? No. Oh, they can just... Oh, not him. No, you don't. Oh. Alright. It's one on one. This guy has red gloves, though, so he's tough. Uh, seriously, I... This is embarrassing if I lose to this... Jo this asshole. Oh, well. I guess I didn't lose to him. Okay, cool.
All you can do is trust your force and head for the Garden of Madness. How can you do a literal, like, fucking 180 in the span of 10 seconds? Alright, so... Destroy Man should not be as hard as Miss Jacobs. But I guess we'll find out. First, let's get to... That is barely any pizza. That's barely pizza. Oh, but you give me max battery, okay. Ah, whatever. Alright, so this time I'm gonna make sure that I rotate my saves. Drop a nice save. Ugh. I love- I remember those old commercials for, uh, No More Heroes 2. Where Travis was- where Travis always said, And be sure to drop a nice save. Which means drop a big ol' shit. <laughs> so I'm already going in, in a, with a handicap. With... Oh, but the pizza respawns. Respawning pizza! Yeah. Okay, so... Bear with me. I'm gonna go take a couple more shits after eating... Minimal slices of pizza... Before I go get some more. Before I go take on Mr. Destroy Man. Travis has a weak... Has a very weak stomach. Whew! <laughs> Whew! Whew! Why do I keep eating pizza? It just makes me feel terrible. It's all that sauce. It's all heavy. Ugh. But it's so good. Box pizza is my favorite. Alright, we're good now. I don't know why they wouldn't just give you a full pizza near the boss. Alright, time for Master Smith to give us another lesson. And time for me to try to fuck up the Mexican accent. The Spanish accent once more. make it here on time. Had to take care of some customers that filed complaints. My apologies. So much to do with so little help. Yeah, I can't stand these people with all their nonsense complaints. They think they can just say anything. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I made it on time. That's the important thing, right? I take it you're Mr. Eight? You? You're ranked? Not me. Well, actually it is me. Oh, that makes sense. Never mind then. You've got a job to do. But first, I need some time to get ready. Would you mind turning the other way? I need some privacy. Privacy? Yes. I need to prepare. Whatever. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second? Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask. Do you? Then we can get on with our fight? That is correct. All right. Ah! Oh, damn it. Whoa, that was close. For a second there, I forgot that you were a killer. Sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to do that. Something's wrong with me today. I let my guard down. Getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you something? Yeah, what is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? If you ask me, it's absolutely meaningless. It's about determining who's best. That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well then, let's get started. What? You want to shake hands? We're both fighters, aren't we? Not killers, at least for now. This is a sign of sportsmanship, that we respect each other before and after the fight. Good luck. Likewise. Destroy Spark. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this is great. Is this guy an idiot or what? <laughs> is this a joke? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, man, you are something. Oh, this is the best. Man, you really cracked me up. <laughs> I think this laughter's gonna kill me. Oh, seriously, I think I might really die from laughter. It hurts. Someone help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I thought I was gonna die there. For real. <laughs> and look at you. You look like you're dead. I guess it's time for a wake-up call. Destroy Cal! Destroy team! This is where it gets good. Good night. Destroy Buster! That was quite a move. I'll admit you've got potential. If Challenge had a taste, you'd be quite delicious. Fight for the seventh? Yeah, sure. Bring it on! I love a challenge! You're as good as dead. Alright, time to fight the Stroyman. Oh! Okay, so he throws Kamehameha- or Hadoukens all over the place. Alright. Come on, you. All right. All right, so just gotta dodge roll that. You wouldn't think that saying, you wouldn't think that saying calling out your moves would be a very effective strategy. Okay. So apparently don't get close whenever he does destroy spark. No. His moves apparently are very easy to tell because he calls him out like an asshole. So technically this should be a pretty relatively simple fight considering you know exactly what he's going to do and how to avoid it. Then again, most of the bosses have vocal tells. Like the destroy pound seems like the easiest one to avoid. It's the destroy cannon that's been getting me. I've been getting sloppy too. Just and the beam kind of gets me occasionally. There we go. Get in there, Travis. So far, it's going so well. It's going pretty. Ah! Oh! Suck it, nerd! So this guy apparently has like a TV show. Well, I mean, it's good that he... Yeah, like I was talking about earlier with the handsome men who were parodies of the Super Sentai, this guy, they weren't, they, at no point, yeah, the handsome men could shoot laser beams like out of their face, which I, I, I deserve that move. Dude, I'm over here. Don't freaking look away from me. Oh! Ooh, that was close. But at no point did they shoot, like, dick lasers out of their fucking crotch lake. Out of their belts. Honestly, that's a pretty good... Honestly, if you could have a laser belt, you, you'd use it. You'd pretty much do nothing but crotch thrusts. Anybody would. Don't act like you wouldn't. That is the coolest thing. He hasn't yet done the, uh, destroy buster yet. Oh, now it's time for phase two. Now it's time for the strings to come on and he's gonna fly around everywhere. So we gotta go destroy those things. Er, anti-grav. Now he's flying everywhere! It's okay, all we gotta do is just... Oh, okay. So we got a Batement. Fuck. I need to get some pizza and then we can fight him better. Fuck. It's cool.
Aha! Suck it, nerd. You couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. My grandmother has better aim than you, dickshit. But then again, she has really good eyes. Ah! You've been hoisted by your own petard. Whatever that means. Alright. Now the fight can continue as normal. Dude, don't taunt whenever you are A, not looking at me. And B, you're losing. Like, you lost that round, idiot. So now the fight is a lot easier. Because A, he calls out his moves. And B, they're not as difficult to dodge as Shinobu. He's getting the- he's a little- Oh, to, oh almost had the fucking German suplex. Maybe I'll be able to get it on next time. Still hasn't used the Destroy Buster yet. Oh, speak of the devil! I always thought he was saying Destroy Fucker. You gotta imagine that vibration also feels pretty good. I'm just gonna- I know that sounds kinda immature, but you know it probably does. Like, it's a it's a giant wave particle cannon to kinda match your dick. I mean... Oh. See, it kinda sounds like he's saying fucker. I mean, if you- I, hey, if you have a giant frickin', like, if you have a giant wave motion laser coming at your crotch, you can call it whatever you want. I like the, the wonderful 101 to do that shit with their belts. Oh wait, they didn't use belts. That was Beautiful Joe. No, wait, Beautiful Joe didn't have a belt either. Kamen Rider, that's the reference. I'd like to see Kamen Rider shoot lasers out of his belt. I seriously need to catch up on Kamen Rider. I got a bunch of the DVDs. But really, this fight's kind of playing out. I would say more. Ah, oh, damn it! Come on! I just kicked him. Just kicked him. So unless I really mess up, I think this fight's pretty much done. I mean, he's kind of showing off all of his moves. It's not really that hard. Just gotta get around the back. You can basically outrun this move. If you did it a little bit faster, then yeah, maybe it might be a problem. But he's kind of run out of all of his moves. I've seen all your moves. Oh. He's doing the laser dick again. Destroy laser dick! Dude, that move doesn't work. Look, see? Look what I'm doing. You hit me once with that thing. All of one time. That's like one-fifth of the time I've been hit by that thing. Whatever. Oh, well, okay. If at first you don't succeed, keep doing the same thing over and over again. Come on, Josh Keaton. You got better stuff. Oh, see? There you go. Now you hit me. Hadouken! <sighs> Alright, destroy fucker. Buster, fucker, whatever it's called. I don't care. He's done. One more hit and this guy's done. And then we'll be 7th in rank. A little bit more. Don't cry like that. You're a killer, aren't you? <laughs> Help! What? Help! I can't hear you. Help me!
What is this I hear from a seventh ranked killer? Whatever. It's over anyway. Please, help me. There you go. With a dead ass superhero on the floor. Oh. He's charred black on the inside. This game really loves shadows. Yeah! And now we got more health. Sweet. Travis, I'm starting to think that you may be for real. You are now seventh in rank. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn! And that gets Travis off, I guess. Ugh. I am sorry for that. I love that freaking Glastonbury uh, statue he's got in his corner. Alright, drop a save. Bear Hug Studio. <laughs> Wasn't that a boxer in a uh, punch out? Um, this is Diane from Beefhead Videos, just calling to let you know that the video you reserved is here. Title is, How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 3. Oh, one of the girls here said that you might need a new pillow cover for this one. You know, just for protection. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 7th UAA rank is now complete. As always, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. Please transfer the money into the designated account as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a nice day. Now, uh, <laughs> look at little Jean. Look at little Jean. She's flipping around. Whee! Don't hurt yourself, sweetie. Daddy's going out to murder more people. So I think we had to do 300 big ol' LB dollars. So you know what that means. It means more grinding. New part-time job is available. All right, so I will grind up the cash and maybe I'll get some more lollipop balls in the meantime. But until then, thank you for watching.